Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here for another Max for Live video tutorial. This one's on making version 5 of our stereo swapper. And if I come into the one I have saved, this is what the new one's going to look like. And you'll notice um, beyond the awesome graphic design I did back here, um, it's just got one knob here for the dry wet. So if we go ahead and listen to that same loop that's heavy on the left side, I'm going to switch it to heavy on the right side without losing any fidelity. So check this out. which is pretty cool. And if you remember version 4 was also uh, just a ridiculously dope graphic design, but we had to mess around with two uh, sliders here and it just was kind of cumbersome. And uh, this one's just a lot easier and I, I just like it a lot better. It's a little more complicated um, as far as the scripting goes, but we're, we're going to pull through, I promise. Um, and the other thing is you might be thinking, well, what is this doing that this pan up here isn't doing? And that is when you pan up here, um, you lose a bunch of sound. You lose, you lose a bunch of sound and a bunch of sound quality. So if I have it at zero, I'm going to play it, I'm going to bring it to the right, and you're going to hear how the volume comes down. And then I'm going to bring it all the way to the left, you're going to hear how the volume is amplified. So. You can hear how this is actually reversing the stereo fields, and this is just uh, panning it to the right and to the left, which is a, a different thing. So this is a, a really cool effect. I've always wanted one of these inside of Ableton, and it's so cool that now I can just go in and make it if I want it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started in Max for Live. I'm going to get rid of this, and we're going to start a whole new patch, and, and uh, hopefully we'll get this done in a reasonable amount of time. So. Go ahead and open up Max. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the inspector for now. Pull open this window a little bit. Let's actually uh, get rid of these notes, highlight them, and delete them. That's all those uh, those boxes are here. We can just get get rid of that stuff. So I've got the plug in, and I've got the plug out. Okay. And if you come in and type N somewhere, you can just start bringing in uh, objects. So I want a live gain, double click, hold down Alt and a PC, <laughs> that's what I'm using, and you can drag it over and duplicate it. So that looks pretty cool, right? And if we get rid of this, and we get rid of this, we're going to want to come out of here to here, come out of here to here. Same with this side, come out of here to here, and come out of here to here, and we are already on our way to success. Now come on to this, Inspector, let's come down to the long name, title it Dry, short name, Dry as well, just to keep things uniform, and Rage, minimum, maximum, and we want to go 70, 0, and I want my initial on at zero. You don't have to click it if you want it at zero, but I just like to, again, be uniform and safe. So I come into the second one here, and we're going to come down again. We're going to title it wet. Title this wet. 70 to zero. And initial, and we're going to start it at negative 70. Booyah. Okay, close out of there, click up here, type in N to get the live dial, that's the one, and I'm going to pull my dial, let's put my dial right up here, there we go, and from my dial, I'm going to come into nothing as of right now, but let's come into the inspector, let's change some things, let's call it dry, slash wet oops dry slash wet and it kind of stinks because I have to hold a um, copper wire to get less feedback on my microphone because I'm on a really crappy computer and uh, my power supply is really messed up so anyway we're gonna go range and I want to go 0 to 100 and this is cool. And then unit style, I'm going to turn it to percentage. So now it's going to go from 0% to 100%, which logically is what we were looking for. 
Next thing we're going to start adding some expressions. So I'm going to come in and type n ex to get this expression. And I don't have a lot of time to go through what this is, but for now we're just going to type in a value and in a later tutorial I'm going to explain more about what it is. So I'm going to go 100 dash dollar sign um, I1. Boom. And what I'm going to do is just bring this over here. That looks pretty good. And then I can come below it and type in N again and I'm going to type in scale which is going to map a scale for me and then I'm going to come in and add some parameters. I'm going to type 0, 100 for that knob up there and then 0, dot, 1, dot. Okay, and I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to bring this down. That's cool. And then I'm going to click on here and alt, click and drag. I'm going to make a second one. And then I'm going to come below this other scale over here and type in N and I'm going to type in ATO DB. This is what I want. And this is going to convert the... Um, Oh, by the way, if you click on it, right click and say open, it will tell you about what it is. So this is going to convert any linear amplitude value to its corresponding decibel value. So that's what we want. We want this signal here to correspond to a decibel value inside this gain. So that's pretty sweet. And again, we're going to come in and we're going to type in nothing. Perfect. And then I'm going to pull this down here to connect it. Click on here, alt, click and drag to duplicate, connect this here, and I'm going to connect this to the dry, and I'm going to connect this to the wet. Pull it over, make it look nice, right? Cool. So this looks good, this looks good, and then what we're going to do is connect this bad boy to here, and we're going to connect this bad boy again to here, okay? So now we're, we're playing with fire here. This looks pretty good, this looks pretty stellar. Um, I'm going to put this plug-in marker right here, and I'm going to take the plug-in and I'm going to put it to my dry. There we go. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the actual effect that we want this dry, wet knob to apply. So I'm going to click about here, type in N, and type in Patcher. Create a sub-patch within a patch. I know it sounds complicated, it kind of is, but we're going to get through it. It's going to open up a second window, and this is the sub-patch. I'm going to come in here, click N, and I'm going to type in Inlet. Boom, double click, and then I'm going to click on it, alt and drag, and it's going to automatically label it too because this is the second one, and this is a stereo channel, so we want that. De click down here, N, and type in outlet. Boom, click on it, alt, drag, get my second one, and then click in here and click N, and click live gain again. Where is he? Right here. Put it right here. And we're going to do the same thing we did in those other tutorials where we crisscrossed it. So I'm going to kick my left into my right, my right into my left, and then, then my left to my left, and then my right to my right. And that's all we have to do. This is the effect that we're going to do for the stereo swapper. So I can close out of here. I'll take my plug in. I'm going to put it into the patch. Oops. And I take my patch and put it into the wet. Go. And that should be it. Um, the next thing we want to do is come up here, click on the dry wet, and say right click and say add to presentation. We'll get this nice cool color here. And um, that looks good. And then we will come into view, patch inspector, and we're going to say open in presentation. Close it here. And then we're going to come to save. And I'm just going to title it Save uh, as a test, but you can title it JC Stereo Swapper V5. I think that would be best. Save it. And then we look down here and boom, look what we've got. We've got the knob. And if we come into presentation mode, we can see that that's way over here. It doesn't need to be. We can just pull it up into here. Come out. Save again. Moved it over. I mean, this is kind of like... We, this really isn't important. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on it. But anyway, here we go. That looks good. So I'm going to close out of here, and we're going to see if it works, and hopefully it does. Booyah! We're working.
working with power here. And just one more housekeeping thing. We'd come in and um, turn this off. And then we'd come in and open up this bad boy. And I want to come to image. Where is it? Images. And I'm going to put an F pick. And I'm going to come into the inspector. And I'm going to say choose a file. And I'm going to throw this um, art piece of beautiful art up on the blog. So if you want to go download this to get it to fit, <laughs> you can do that. But I'm just going to import that here. I'm going to say scale to box. And then I'm going to come into the presentation mode. Oops. I have to click on it, right click on it, and say add to presentation. Also, I'm going to say ignore click and put in the background. And then I'm going to come into presentation mode. And I'm going to start moving this. So the presentation rectangle, I'm going to put in some type in some value 0, 0 to put it in that upper right, left hand corner. And this is 169 by 169. Boom. Oops. And of course I moved it. I don't know why I did. But there it is. Then I'm going to click on this dry wet. And I'm just going to kind of center it inside of here. Something like that. Save. And if you look down here, there it is. And that's very pretty. Uh, also, the other thing you want to do is you want to lock it down. Actually, unlock. I'm sorry. Come in and hit embed image in patcher. You have to do that and then lock it down and freeze it. And now you can share this with your buddies and they will come with the image. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to hit save one more time and come in and play it just to make sure I haven't ruined anything. And boom! Now we have the JC Audio Swapper version 5 with just that one slick knob right there. Booyah! Um, anyway, I hope you learned a bunch and I'm going to keep these coming. I'm not sure how much more I can add to the stereo swapper. But um, I'll probably make another device sometime soon. Anyway, talk to you later.